Welcome back to another episode of we are going to enter some buildings and this time we have ourselves a nexus building for the lost city Hmm, Nexus or not, there's definitely an impressive energy radiating from behind that door Hmm Kind of unsettling to be honest So, Tahar, do you want to go in? Well, why don't we just let the dwarf go first? <laughs> ah. Oh, okay, wait a minute. We can explore first, and we can also do other things. Wait, Let let's just explore it. some more first. Hmm. What? But we need to make sure we've got our backs covered if anything goes south in there, Isgrim. It won't be long. <sighs> All right. Huh. So yeah, anyway, we got our uh, backs covered anyway. The problem that I have right now is that um, we need some kind of other meat source and it seems to be goblin related meat stuff and somehow there are i don't have any meat available here uh, it's just iffy and i also have no idea where the other part of the artifact is that i'm supposed to get that's just weird. Or maybe I'm going to enter the Nexus and I will exit it again. And then the rest of Mulandir will become uh, available whatsoever. So, ah. Also, this was some very interesting way to uh, uh, make you rethink this decision. So, maybe it was because of this artifact that was lying around. But I don't know if you can get the other part here or if you could only get it um, at a later stage. So let's just continue because I think I pretty much nailed it. Anyway. The stone doors fall shut behind you as you step through the overgrown arch and you are met by an almost eerie silence. Yet you immediately feel a presence, a power long forgotten, waiting for someone or something to wake it from its slumber. The Nexus must be nearby. Hmm. An enemy has been set wall. So, this is the Nexus? The upper levels. We'll need to go further down to find the heart. Come. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Whoa. It's kind of interesting that every time you see some lost civilization, you immediately connected with sand and huge structures and everything you got it you always get some kind of Egyptian feeling as if this is the only lost yeah culture that what that there was actually thousands of lost cultures just ooh. understood none of them Let's built see. any huge structures uh, okay Sulgrim's Great Axe, a dagger, and a Dwarven Outer Armor Plating. Quest item. Hmm. This uh, unassuming chunk of metal might not seem formidable, but it was actually designed to be used as a quality Dwarven Armor. Experienced Dwarven Smith <gasps> should be able to repurpose it for most wind wall designs. Nice. Now we really got the Sounds wind like wall way, I believe. Finally. Either this, uh, or it's another buggy situation here. Oh, wait a minute. Did I... Uh, I did check the other parts, right? It's just really difficult to identify quest items. Oh, no. At least make it so I can see through it without rotating the camera all the time. Tiara's breath. We're in for a fight. Do -do -do -do. Maybe we should um, step back a little bit just in case. Yes. What does that one actually do? Oh, car speed also gets hastened. So if I'm in here, then oh yeah, also the attack speed gets hastened. So if huh? all of them are in here, then we can attack much quicker. I just don't want to stand too close to the golem in order to be burned or whatever. Would you look at that? Hmm, another fire golem part. Yes. And 
Now all the ways those strange obelisk and drawer structures kind of feel as if they are magical gates. And again those godstones that have a completely different kind of stone they're just placed here well they are kind sure. of a game mechanic in an, their own way Sounds like there's a no reason why there should be a godstone down here actually uh, the godstones should have uh, different kinds of uh, designs depending on their area maybe so what I mean is that certain Races just repurpose them, uh, maybe chiseled a little bit on it. Because the whole thing now is kind of on the ground. Also, why are there those godstones in here? The convocation didn't start yet, so. Why give the people the godstones? Golems. We got a weak Devara. We got a fire golem, ice golem, a weak Xalan trap golem, which... Was that the one that we fought? I think so. Self-repair. Really annoying. Caster temporarily becomes invulnerable, of course, and immovable and regenerates health. Deals damage to all enemies in a small radius around the caster and applies bleeding. So crushing strike, unwavering, caster's immune to stun and silence and so on. The most annoying thing is uh, the earthquake uh, strike thing. The wave that propagates forward. Uh, and if you are aligned, which you are most of the time, like the melee character rushes forward and you stand behind. And if he gets attacked, then bam. Uh, you're Will do. Uh, your ranged people will get attacked immediately afterwards, then they are thrown off and probably die immediately as well. Because there's only one character who can suck up tons of damage, and it's the dwarf. At least, the way I build it. Which might be pretty much the standard way, to be honest. Uh, alright, why not? Sure. Hmm... What else? Yeah, there's... Uh, doesn't seem to be anything else up here. That must be the entrance. Some really strange cloud. And it's different kind of white. It's like a purpley kind of white. Uh, alright. Why not? Another godstone. Three godstones, and the whole thing is arranged in a circular fashion. Very nice. Wait a minute. If you can go outside. Oh! This Nothing there. Wait. Okay, we got stuff. Perfect. Let's see. What do we have in here? Uh, a slab of titanium. No, titanite. A ram import from a forsaken land. Most smiths consider it too unyielding to even attempt to forge it into something. Dwarven smiths are the only ones who can work with this rare metal. Then we get Buckler of the Crushing Blow, which gives some crit chance, some block chance, and. Yeah. Buckler is kind of neat. Blasted armor. You got it. So the wind wall way is basically a chain and a high amount of uh, crafting material and then smith something very interesting. That's what I'm guessing that will happen. Oh, there's the thing. Blazes, that thing is huge. Do -de -do -de -do. Does it have, what is this? Oh, okay, it cannot be stunned. So the best way would be to cast the stone rune, and those two are gonna go in here. Would you get there we go. No, 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 no. But this one only regenerates, and it won't become invulnerable. So the only thing that you can do is just uh, hack onto it. But at least it's not attacking you at the same time, which is nice. So you can attack it; it can regenerate. 
There we go. And in here we have what? Mm, another temple golden part. Sure. What else we got? Uh, there's another door thingy. Ah, mm -hmm. and there's a, a center piece thingy. What was that? Yeah, that that was actually the main entrance to the whole thing. That's the way. Uh, yeah, that was the main entrance. Let's just go. Looks like something fell down here. Can't we trigger some reaction from the squad if we get closer sure. to it? Like, ooh, whoa, what is this hole? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, hmm. There's also some strange roots that grew around it. This way, right? Maybe this kind of energy is facilitating life somehow. Mm -hmm. Like a meteorite or whatever. We're and gone. another one. Not as if every meteorite facilitates life, just say it. Oh, wait a minute. If I have this aura here, then also the zombies will go faster and attack faster. Oh, the police abilities are endless. Auras are amazing. Uh, all right. Why not? And there we have another one. What is in here? More dwarven outer armor plating. Another one for the wind wall way, I believe. This unassuming chunk of metal might not seem formidable, uh, but it was actually designed to be used as a quality wall with armor. Yeah, someone in wind wall armor. might be able to manage this kind of thing. So, like the starting area we uh, already discovered pretty much, but uh, there is some... You got it parts further west really 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 far in here like there's this uh, tiny little room and I always look backwards just in case like do you really get extremely uh, crazy about the angles here <laughs> I don't want this wall to uh, Block my view. That's just not cool. Alrighty, there we have another room with possibly uh, another chest to the left or the right. There we go. Nothing on the left. Um, no reaction from the dwarf. Sure. No, like, oh, there might be some interesting inscription also. Like, nothing. Interesting. And that could be either the. Uh, another slab of titanite and the cure of all cures increases all your damage resistances by 50% for 30 seconds so it's a one-time potion similar to the others but instead of giving you a permanent bonus it only gives you a well not so permanent bonus got it very interesting Let's just check all of our items real quick, if I can... Nope. Can't get anything else done in here. Hmm. I want to use in slightly better magical stuff, that would be great. Hmm... Maybe even something that uh, does not reduce my casting speed. Maybe something that boosts it as well, but the only thing that I have that somehow boosts casting is like those padded robes and they only increase the uh, focus regeneration. Hmm. And of course we have some nice hood thingies. What if I just go with green instead? The resistances are the same. I go with the black one here. I could go with the green. This is not green. This is pretty much yellow. Um, yeah. In the end, uh, you can choose which one you're going for let's go for red because it kind of um like this is too blech. uh i need something that brings a little bit of life to it and it also kind of 
helps me to say that this is a fire user. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, we have a creator guild thing imagery. And this dude has rings. She does not have rings. So let's give her one ring. Do we have anything uh, else in terms of armor pieces? Okay, so ring is considered to be armor. Good to know. This dude could wear helmets if his head would not be that huge. And yeah, other than that. Oh, yes, reinforced gambers on. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, okay, this is slightly better. Let's give her that stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's the only one. I don't want to reduce her casting speed. Also, the other armor pieces in here are just getting worse and worse and worse the further down you go. Ah, it's definitely not helpful. Um, so how am I gonna get better stuff in here with higher constitution? Mm, do we have armor that does not necessarily need constitution? Like we have this stuff. Yeah, there's intelligence and will armor, but it's cloth armor. It's more magical. And you do need some kind of medium amount of constitution in order to wear this stuff. She has a constitution of three. So with the next level up here, it would be a constitution four. And constitution four means this one. Attack speed and cost speed are reduced by so and so much. Hmm. And that's just not cool. So I have to go with something slightly stronger. But reinforced gambesons are the ones that I have worn already. Not helping. Hmm. Mm, same goes for this. Like, I want to use a slightly better armor, but the kind of armor is supposed to be different in nature. Mm. What about bows? Uh, same DPS, but this one has at least a bonus effect on it. Both of them scale somewhat. Mm, what else we got? 4.53. Do I have something? Oh, 4.71. 4 Crit chance is slightly lower, but at least the DPS is higher. But other than that, nothing. Mm. We can go with crossbows, some great hammers here, with like 11.3. But this dude is a constitution. Is a constitution. <laughs> so, let's move on. There we go. Mulan Dia Nexus Core. Confirm. To this day, Ooh. the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear. None of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible amount of magical energy. According to Iskrim, this is it. The heart of the Nexus. The source of the Shaper's power. Mm. Wow. Okay, like this makes absolutely no sense. Why would you... Uh, this one points me up here. Uh, power hungry. Bring goblin flesh to the goblin. Okay. Makes no sense. Like you start in this area with all those roots and tree structures uh, going down. Um, but you never saw them in the previous area. Like you did see them, yes. But only in the hole. Well, blow me down with a feather. And here I thought this couldn't get any more impressive. Then I'm guessing we got lucky? Whoa. This is the Nexus? Yes. We found Mullendir's heart. That looks amazing. The heart might be so, much as further I said down. Already to her, if we're to find out anything about the blood burn in this mm. city, it'll be here. Do you see that massive pillar in the center? That's where the Shapers drew their energy from. It's not the pillar. Maybe the pillar was erected on the thing down here. They used hmm. it to communicate, to store knowledge, to power the mechanisms in their city, and to build some of their most magnificent creations. Hmm. But it, the thing is, it looks completely different from their creations. Like, the creations were crystalline. They were flat. Uh, but this is just rough. It is chaotic. Uh, goes all over the place. This is different. Um, hmm. So this is also some kind of archive? So this is also some kind of archive? Well, not in the traditional sense. I doubt you'll find a lot of books here. 
Hmm. Um, but this energy, what is it? Huh. And where exactly does that energy they channel in here come from? What is it? Well, that's one of the great Shaper mysteries. There's many theories and few facts. But the most likely one is that it draws from some kind of world essence, the same we mages use to cast magic. Hmm. If something like that exists, why have I never heard about it before? As I said, it's just one of many theories. I might be completely mistaken. Mm, what did they create? What did they create? Just creatures? Well, obviously just a few very select items, such as, I suppose, the runes we found. Only the most skilled of their craftsmen were allowed to work on that altar you see over there. Being Zaklar, a runesmith, was one of the most respected positions in Shaper mm. society, and only those of the priest caste were even considered. I'm guessing that whatever miracle allowed them to create these ghost watchers outside was also manufactured here. Hmm. Did you say communicate? Did you just say they used this place to communicate? Yes. Apparently, some shapers were able to communicate with each other by thought alone. I've heard about that. But what does this nexus have to do with it? Well, their telepathy wasn't an innate skill. It was something the higher castes learned through somehow joining their minds to that pillar. They were connected. Hmm. I wouldn't want that. Well, but it could sound... Well, that does useful. sound useful. And a little bit scary. Yeah, obviously. Either way, I suggest we take a look around, see what we can find. Hmm, a little bit scary. Uh, like, no matter what you pick, it looks useful. And a bit scary, it looks very scary. Or it could be very useful, like... Ugh. Doesn't matter what you pick, there's always someone that uh, doesn't like your Sounds choice. Like Hmm, that's XMI and the rune table. Now, would you look at that? Nehav's hammer. Do you feel that? Feel what? Energy. Seems there's still some left. Yeah. And what's that? Huh. Looks like some kind of anvil. Uh. Could that be where the shapers forge their creations? No, they're just candles in here, but. Kind of out of place. Very likely so, yes. Hmm. We... Wait. How about a little experiment? Wait a minute. I just got an interesting idea, because if you look at this, uh, it seems to be connected, but there seems to be a little gap in there as well. Kind of reminds me of neurons. Same thing up here. There's a little gap. So those neurons actually fire an electric signal, propagates through the whole cell, and then at the end, uh, it kind of changes the uh, uh, electric potential, and then it excretes certain minerals, and those change the potential in the next uh, connected cell, and then the whole signal can propagate again. And the whole process is extremely quick. Hmm, maybe something like this is the same. So it's basically a huge data center. It's Google. <laughs> uh, that strange rune Lacane gave you. Could I uh, borrow it for a moment? Yeah, let's just chat of the thing. What for? As I said, a little experiment. These shards we found on the ghosts outside. I think I might be able to combine them with our rune. Oh, uh, okay. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Hmm. Huh. Well, that's interesting. And what happened? What? The runes. They look alike. Mm hmm. So, Lacane gave us a shaper rune? Or he made a shaper rune? Uh, maybe he was here before. Maybe this is how he knew about the place. Might be, yeah. Hmm. Didn't he say it was a gift from Aonir? He seemed to think it was a gift from Aonir. Huh. Interesting. Well, I personally don't believe in Aenir handing out gifts to his followers, but as you can tell by the godstones all over the city, he played a role in the Shaper's faith too. Hmm. Uh, think about it this way. If some god is able to create the whole universe, then everything is basically a gift from God. Uh... So, technically, it could be both a Shaper rune and a gift from the Allfather. Hmm. And you're still sure you want to do this? I am. It may take a while, so I suggest you take a look around in the meantime. 
What do you mean, look around? There's absolutely nothing here. Sure. At least we'll be out of the blast radius that way. <laughs> Very funny. Hmm. Oskrim has hmm. left the party. Uh... Yeah, how long does he... Uh... It's really annoying. I'm always losing items. Maybe this is why you are given thousands and thousands of identical ones. Uh, explore mm. the nexus. There's nothing else that to be way? explored down here. Like, come on. I can't go down. Oh, wait a minute. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to the nexus core then. We heard. Oh. Uh -huh. Really weird. Whoa. Interesting. So stuff has changed and the whole area is now back in pitch blackness. And that means we're going to end this little episode and continue, of course, with the re-exploration of the area at another time. Until then, like and subscribe, of course. Ta-ta!